What's up, YouTube? Trevor here for Love Make Share. We're back in the shop tonight with something fun. Just before we get into it tonight, I want to say uh, we've actually had a number of new subscribers, actually a ton of new subscribers on the channel lately, and I want to say thank you for the people who found us. Um, and if you want to follow along what we're doing in a more timely fashion than YouTube, because apparently I have trouble keeping them with schedule here, uh, pop over to Instagram and follow us there. We're at Love Make Share on Instagram as well. Joining us tonight, Sprints. Hey, Sprints. Hi. Hey, Sprints, I have a question for you. What's that? This is a Raspberry Pi. It's a tiny computer that would basically, that can store a bunch of, bunch of things and can do a bunch of, bunch of things because of its size. Yeah, it's super, super teeny. So this is the Raspberry Pi Zero. W. And the W stands for wireless and zero because it's teeny tiny. So, what are some things we've done with this? Well, we tried playing games, but it didn't really work. Right. Uh, do you remember what the big problem what we had playing games on it? It was the internet. Uh, close. It was something wireless. It was the wireless controller we had had a lot of trouble connecting to this. But anyway, yeah, we couldn't get the controller to connect well. So I figure, instead of trying to connect a controller to this thing, why, and then plug this into a TV with a cable that is bigger than the entire computer. Why not make, make it into a controller? Exactly, why not build it into a controller? What I have here is a box. A box. That's the video, good night. <laughs> okay, what we have here is a kit from Adafruit, and this is the Pi Girl Zero kit. So it doesn't contain a Raspberry Pi. Oh, we have so much bubble wrap. And we have a ton of really cool pieces here, so we thought we would unbox it for you. All right. So satisfying. <laughs> Sprints, give me your hand. Right there. Oh, that is a blue lantern power ring. That does not help us with this video. Give me your hand. Turn your hand over. All right. Here's a part. That is a tiny little mono amplifier. That means it's gonna send one sand, uh, one sand sound channel out. Is your hand getting tired already? Come on. You are my physical trainer here, so. You are strong enough to hold that up. So there's a teeny tiny little mono amplifier, so that will make sound louder coming out of the Raspberry Pi. You know what's cool about this Raspberry Pi? You know what's not on this Raspberry Pi? anywhere to send sound out of. So we're gonna have to get a little creative. So what was the original Raspberry Pi, original Raspberry Pi that was used for what we're making? Um, some of them have, this. these are a couple of parts that I uh, ordered special because I know there's a way to do this. But we want sound in our little game, right? Yeah. So, what's that? Ooh. Isn't it cute? What's that? This looks familiar. <laughs> Does it put beeps? Uh, not just beeps. It's a speaker. It'll play sounds. Yeah, I think. When yeah. the sound goes, it makes sound like Exactly. Now try not to try not to squish it too too much because we don't want to break it. All right. What's this? Ooh. What do you think it is? The battery, maybe. The battery. That's correct. This Ooh. is what is this? This is a lithium polymer battery. Uh, it's a two thousand milliamp hour battery. Two thousand million. <laughs> 2,000 milliamp. It's the amount of uh, it's the amount of current it puts out. Ooh, yeah. Plug in there. Uh, we've got a. There's another part that it plugs into first. Now this was recommended. Uh, this is a squishy button. He's like a tiny little robot. It is a little bit. It's got the four pins on the bottom, uh, but it's got a little bit of squish to it. Now we've got those, and we've also got these guys, and these are clicky buttons. So that one clicks, and that one doesn't. I bet these ones are for the main controls. Yeah. And these ones are for the other ones, like the bottom buttons for like main, side, side to choose stuff. Okay. I think what we'll do to decide which buttons to use for what is we'll grab another controller. Like the Game Boy that we have? Yeah, and we'll, we'll see what our favorite button feel is. Okay, now we've got this. What is this? 
What is this? This is a tiny uh, OTG adapter. Oh, so this on the Raspberry Pi, let's do a gonna move this stuff in. So on the Raspberry Pi, there is this teeny tiny USB port. See, it says USB. So this will turn the tiny one into a full-sized USB port. If we wanted to plug a keyboard in or plug something else in, we could do that very easily. All right, got some wire. Silicone covered wire, two meters. Uh, two and then some other thing. Wire? Yeah, we've got two meters here and another to probably here. This doesn't look like two meters. Well, once you start unraveling it. Uh, now the silicone coated wire, as I understand it, is more flexible than other wires. Okay, let's see, what's this? This yeah. says Power Boost 1000C. Could you grab the battery out for a sec? Yeah, so that's our little power board and that will plug right into here. Can it? Yep. Oh, wrong way. Oh, look at that. So there's, it's already seeing power, so I guess this battery is a little charged. This, I guess, will allow us to... Wait, uh, can I charge? This will allow us to charge the battery, I guess, through either here or here. So, this is a slide switch. You know what that means? Nope. It means there's a little switch, and you can slide it on, and you can slide it off. Here's the thing. See what that is? Yeah. It's pins. Two by 20 pin strip. Dual mail header. So this is going to bridge. See all these little holes? Yeah. These little pin holes? You're going to just shove them in? Pretty much. These pins go into here and then connect to something else. Should we see what it connects to? Mm, sure. <laughs> all right. What do we have here? I have literally no idea. Folks, it is way past Sprint's bedtime, but it turns out that we had a little glitch in recording, so we didn't talk about this awesome part, which is the screen. This is a 2.2 inch Pi TFT. It's got some little action buttons down on the bottom there, uh, and that's it. It's a screen. It is the most expensive part by a fairly wide margin. All right, last couple of pieces. So this is already set up with some of the software that we need. So we can put this in the Pi and it'll be good to go. Boom. It says Pi Girl right on it. See that? And then on the front. Girl. Yeah, girl. And here is Pi Girl. The front of the circuit board. Little Adafruit logo. It says button pad. And we have two of these. One for the directional pad and one for the buttons. So like A, B, X, Y. This would connect a normal Raspberry Pi to the internet. But you know what? Do we need an extra piece to do that with our Raspberry Pi? No, we don't. It's already got a wireless chip on it. Okay, well there it is. That's our Pi Girl Zero kit from Adafruit. We've got silicone wire to wire it all together. We've got two button pads. These are printed circuit boards. We've got some uh, soft touch buttons. Now these don't come with the kit. Uh, these clicky buttons do, but I added the soft touch buttons. It was like $2 for 10 of them, so I thought that was fine. We've got our little power boost. We've got our slide switch. We've got our 2000 milliamp battery. We've got uh, our Pi Zero. Uh, if you're thinking about doing this kit, you're gonna have to get a Pi Zero separately, because we already have this one. We've got our little mono amplifier. We've got our little metal speaker. Uh, Raspberry Pi is about ten dollars. Right. Uh, the Raspberry Pi Zero W uh, was around ten dollars Canadian when we got it. So you might be able to find a sale, or you can get a Pi Zero without the wireless for I think around five dollars which is where this wireless adapter comes in. We've got our little USB 
on the go adapter. We've got our pin boards here. And last but not least, we've got our 2.2 inch TFT screen for the Raspberry Pi with four delightfully clicky buttons on it. Hey Sprints, you know what isn't here? What? A case to put all this stuff in. So, so we're gonna 3D print it! Yeah, so in an upcoming video, we will design our case, and then we'll model it in 3D, and then we will 3D print it. All right, folks, it's that time in the video where we say, if you liked it, please subscribe, hit that like button so that other people can see it too. Uh, if you've already done a Pi Girl Zero build, I would love it if you post down in the comments below and let us know how it went. Is there anything you want to hear from the people in the comments, Sprints? Uh, I would like to hear if you liked playing with it. Okay, cool. Yeah, so if you enjoyed playing games on your Pi Girl Zero after you finish building it, uh, tell us uh, what games you like to play best. Okay. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye. We'll see you soon.